KX Sports with Brandon Gardner. It's Heartland Holy Cows night at Bismarck Municipal Stadium. The Holy Cows look to earn a home sweep against the Mankato Moondogs before those big sticks come to town for the final series of the 2024 season. Let's get out to the highlights from the capital city. Scoreless game in the top of the first. Jake McGee puts the Moondogs on the board first as he drops a single in front of the Larks right fielder. one nothing Mankato, but the Larks answer in the bottom of the second. Jet Buck found some space in left center for an RBI base hit that ties the game at one. Same score at the top of the fourth. Zach Straw sends one into right field corner for a leadoff triple. Straw will come home to score the very next at bat. Moondogs threatening again in the top of the fourth with runners on the corners and one out. Mankato attempts to double steal, but the Larks execute the 2-6-2 two, two double play as Christian Knight and Jet Buck combine for the twin killing. But it will be the Moondogs taking care of business against the Holy Cows, winning 12-6. Well, there are only two times of the year for Brandon Gardner, football season and then him waiting on football season. Well, I'm here to tell you that that wait is over and high school teams all around the Peace Garden State have hit the practice field for day one of the 2024 season. We got a chance to head out to Dwayne Carlson Stadium where the defending champions were up and at it, beginning their quest to become back-to-back -back state champions. It seems like it was just yesterday that the Magicians were celebrating their first state championship in over 43 years, but voila! The first day of the new season is already upon us as they'll look to duplicate what they've done a season ago. With the Magi coming off of a state title, they want to let that pass be in the past and only focus on the now. We got to focus on this season and let the other season go in our past. Obviously, it's an awesome thing for us, but we got a new season ahead of us and a lot of challenges come forward. And I think we can be a pretty good team if we just focus on the next step. First, first day, I think our effort was great. Uh, obviously, everyone's going to be a little rusty and a little have to refresh their mind to the playbook and all that stuff. But first day was great. Everyone was moving around, going 100 percent, doing all that stuff. So, yeah, it's got to keep that forward and then we'll get better as it goes. Graduating some phenomenal talent off of last year's state championship team. Coach Hendershot and the Magicians will be looking for the next man up as opportunities are easy to come by for now. Great to, to start a new year and um, get this group together, uh, but it is a new year, uh, and, and you know we got our, our guys out here, a lot of uh, of, of ret some quality returners from last year, uh, but just an awesome opportunity for uh, you know some some sophomores and, and uh, you know budding juniors to to uh, to rise to the occasion and, and try to earn some some spots. The Magicians are gearing up for a showdown against the West Fargo Cheyenne Mustangs on August 30th here in the Magic City. Well, in Class A, we got a chance to catch up with the Bishop Ryan Lions this morning as they kicked off the Pat Hardy era. The Bishop Ryan Lions are looking to take it a step further in the 2024 season. The Lions finished with a 5-5 five five record and was able to finish third in the district last season. The Lions welcome in first-year head coach Pat Hardy in a brand new era, but with some hellos come some goodbyes. So while one era is beginning, another is ending. You know, I woke up this morning to my alarm and I was like, the beginning of the end was the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, it's kind of my final ride and I've been doing this now, starting since I was a freshman. So it's, it's kind of, it's, it's bittersweet, but you know, I'm happy to be out here with the guys and, and you know, it's just a grind and that's what makes it fun, right? Not everything that's, you know, not everything's gonna be easy and that, that's what's fun about it. It's, it's a grind and just having your brothers next to you and battling through these two days, it's, you know, that's what makes it enjoyable and something to remember. Every sunset is an opportunity to reset, and every sunrise begins with new eyes. With a new era kicking off in the Bishop Ryan football program, that means that there will be a huge learning curve for these student athletes. But after day one, the Lions seem to have a grasp on the new system. We're all about effort and intensity, um, because if you do those two things well, you'll be in every football game. Um, and then from there on too, is like I kind of touched on, we're, we got a lot of new things going in. And with that, is a big learning curve, and uh, the kids, I mean, handled it very well for day one. I honestly was not expecting uh, that much improvement already, so that's always an excited thing. The Lions will open up the season against the Bowman County Bulldogs on Saturday, August the 24th, here in the Magic City at Heard Parker Stadium. And for my people out in the Magic City, if you have some free time on your hands, make sure to get down to Corbett Field as the Hot Tots will have their final two home games tomorrow and Saturday. And that's a look at sports, but keep it right here for one more look at your forecast.